Excuse me. Excuse me. Have I been given a diagram of We're Triple One. Welcome to Sonda TV. Level, Level one. one. Level Four One. Months. What does success mean to you? You're at peace with yourself. Like you get to a stage in your life where you're comfortable. You've achieved what you want. It doesn't have to be financial. It could be um, emotional. Bro, yeah, success to me, bro, is putting a smile on my mother's face. You oh know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Shouts to mum. Shouts to my mum. I'd say success is anything you try to achieve and then when you do it, thumbs up. Success doesn't have to be big either, but awesome. like success can be like small little achievements. Okay, so we act shocked every time he does a song. <gasps> Level two, Sonda knows. Oh, really? I can read it. What was it like getting Salmonella before oh. Paul's Festival and nearly dying on stage? I don't recommend having to go to the toilet every like half an hour before you have to play a 55 minute set. I don't like the first slot of the day. I mean, Martin was there with me for it, so, you know. They said a friend on the ride with you. We yeah. really bonded over I diarrhea. Also had diarrhea. Um, I also had salmonella. Salmonella. <laughs> what is the correct type of ants in this image? I know those are army ants. Like what's at 12 o'clock? It looks like a leaf cutter ant. I know ants that are native to Australia. I'm not too sure about these <laughs> international ants. I don't know if these ants are real or not. They look like cartoons to me. Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> me. Have I been given a diagram of <laughs> Who even knows I like it? You're the ant dude. I'm going to express that to anyone here. Do you actually like ants though? Yeah, I love ants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Can you tell us your favourite type of ant? Uh, yeah, my favourite type of ant is the Australian jumping jack. I also like the bulldog ant. From Tasmania, they're very venomous. They're actually almost as venomous as the Sydney Funnel Web Spider. And they're very impressive in size and they've got very beautiful mandibles. Very impressive in size. <laughs> and they have a beautiful thorax and they've got beautiful long legs. <laughs> Dumb. <gasps> How was partying at The Rose? What does this place mean to you? Oh my God. The Rose. Wait, oh my God. Where did you get this question? Where the fuck did you get that from? I used to pretty much live there, even though I didn't like, officially <laughs> live there. That's a throwback. You slept under the fucking <laughs> stairway. Like fucking they like made me like a little bed under the stairway, but like just like a little makeshift bed sometimes. Like, oh, Dom's coming over tonight. He's going to sleep there. I love Harry Potter bed. It was. It was. Oh, no. I actually really loved that house because it was such a moment of my life. We actually did one of the videos there uh, oh, for yeah. one, of, one of our first videos for Incense. I have really a couple awkward moments in that video where I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I really forgot about that part of my life. Who makes the best shortbread in the world? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, my mummy makes the best the shortbread, shortbread in the world. She makes passion fruit shortbread. She makes macadamia nut shortbread no. and lemon shortbread. She owned a shortbread shop in Summerhill, which I used to work at making <laughs> shortbread also. And people thought that was fucking weird, but the shortbread was still yummy. What's happening in this photo? Whoa, what? Whoa, you look jacked in this photo, dude. Wow. Oh, what the fuck is happening? This is like Circa 2010. I used to surf a lot. That's like a cliche, like young surfer dude look back then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't really explain to you why I'm standing on a bed. Pretty fresh back in the day. It's a great photo, that, bro. It's probably like peak <laughs> physical form. It all went downhill from there, right? It all went downhill from there. That's right. Oh, and I've even got those chat like black sleepers. Billy, can you recreate the face? Oh, a bit. <laughs> How old were you in this photo? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, guess. I'm going to say, yeah, 14. Nine. I think I was 14. Why are you making that face? Uh, I don't know. I used to just do that face in photo. Are you going to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> what were you shocked about in this photo? Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow! Well, it's actually the, the, the beginning of the mo, I think, like where I first started, and dude. then it never stopped. Yeah. Whoa! Oh my god! You were definitely a whoa, dude. I said, whoa! <laughs> Did GoPro ever reply to you regarding this status? Dear <laughs> GoPro, can you please make a camera with a? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it revolutionized. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have made this fully functional, please send 40% of all profits to <laughs> Cheers, and hurry up. Lots of love, <laughs> Sir Connor. 85 likes, six comments. 
85 likes. To be fair though, someone actually fucking made that and they're probably rich. I'm fucking stuck with these losers. I'm making rap music. I like sex, I like sex. I'm a hit up or your friend. Level three. <laughs> Tell Sonda. Tell Sonda a bit about this photo and this night. Whoa. Oh. Can I see it? Mate? Whoa. So oh. it's actually our first show in um, Wollongong at, what's the place called? The Red Bar. Red Bar. Red Bar. So that's a pretty nice show. Everyone came down. And then this is us eating at the kebab shop. Who are you? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, we're going to zoom in on this like section right here. What? Like, what's Connor and Nick Hart doing? Oh no. I don't remember half my life, hey. <laughs> I just don't remember this. The gong show. Thank you, Triple One. See you on tour. See you on tour.